What happens when you confront the deadliest creature in the world with the most abundant polymer on Earth that's scented with a component of feces? Well, the deadliest creature we're talking about is the mosquito, responsible for millions of cases of malaria, dengue fever, and yellow fever every year, and hundreds of thousands of deaths. The most abundant polymer on Earth is cellulose, the major structural material of plants. And indole is the fetid odor of excrement. It is known to deter mosquitoes. What we're getting around to discussing here is a way to prevent the female mosquito from biting. Only the female bites. She's searching for blood that contains all the nutrients she needs to lay her eggs. Male mosquitoes just service the ladies. Mosquitoes are attracted to humans by chemicals released from sweat, as well as by carbon dioxide that is exhaled. The most common mosquito repellent is nn methotoluamide, better known as DEET. However, concerns about its toxicity have been raised, especially for children. Oil of citronella has no such issues, but doesn't work as well. Now, researchers at Hebrew University in Jerusalem have come up with a novel way to prevent mosquito bites. By treating cellulose, which can even be extracted from paper waste, with sulfuric acid, they were able to convert it into nanocrystals. These can be suspended in water, to which a small amount of glycerin is added as thickener. The nanocrystals are small enough so that the solution remains transparent and can be spread over the skin. As the solution dries, a very thin layer of nanocrystals is left behind on the skin. This serves a dual purpose. It prevents molecules from sweat that mosquitoes find attractive from being released into the surrounding air, and it also forms a barrier that the proboscis of the mosquito has a tough time penetrating. A small amount of indole is added to the solution because it is known to deter mosquitoes. People as well. <laughs> you may see flies hovering around the dunk pile, but not mosquitoes. Interestingly, while indole is partly responsible for the fetid smell of fecal matter, in dilute solution, it has a decidedly pleasant scent, and it's even used in perfumes. When human arms smeared with nanocrystal solution were thrust into cages filled with hungry female mosquitoes, significant protection was documented. The females laid almost no eggs, while those that feasted on bare arms laid plenty. The next step is to see if a commercial product based on this technology can be economically formulated and used in the battle against mosquito-borne diseases. And that for today is our Cup of Joe.